Hi, welcome back. Or if you're just joining, my name is Maya, and welcome to my channel, Cranley Place, where I'm focused on Hermes scarf style, knot tutorials, and more. I will start with my usual caveat, and that is choosing a scarf is a highly personal thing, and what may be a grail scarf to one person may be very different to another. So bearing that in mind, in this video, I'll take a look at some of this season's scarves from Hermes that I think could be future grails and why. Let's get started. Bienvenue's first scarf for the house was introduced in 2020, a double-faced scarf called Wow. And his designs have been on a tear ever since, usually quite hard to come by on the websites. Thinking of Space Derby as an example, it was almost impossible to get that one online, at least here in the U.S., and while a colorway or two would crop up now and again, it was never the one that I wanted personally, and I wasn't willing to pay triple or more in the secondary market, so moved on from it. Now, unlike his past designs, issued mainly in 90 centimeter and twill leaf format, this one is a 70 centimeter silk twill. The romantic scene is drawn in his signature space comic aesthetic with his pair encountering each other outside of an American-style diner. Now, like stocks, past performance is not indicative of future results, but if the secondary market is any indication of just how in-demand Bienvenue's scarf designs are, I would bet that this one is destined to command high prices eventually as well. They do have at least four colorways available on the U.S. site, so as well as some designs from past seasons, including one colorway of the WOW Double Face. But even so, colorways I'm seeing are priced at 50% or more in the secondary market. This artist is another one who, although relatively new to the house as well, as in the past few years, his designs have historically not only been hard to find on the Hermes websites, but can command some ridiculous prices in the secondary market. Chevaloscope, in some respects, reminds me of his Eleftheria design in its layout, but of course this one is very classically Hermes equestrian. Why do I think this one will be a collector's item? For me, it's the fact that the design is symmetrically asymmetrical. And what do I mean by that? Yes, the horses are arranged in a very symmetrical fashion and indeed all facing the same direction. But each one is very different in details, textures, and sometimes color. Not only that, they're arranged on a highly abstract background bordered by a contrast hem. The variation of colors and details will certainly make for contrasting differences based on the way the scarf is folded and tied. Now, the good news is that this design is available in multiple formats this season. In addition to this 90 centimeter, there's a twilly, a 45, and a 70, which tells me that even Hermes is trying to get ahead of the game knowing that this one will be sought after by many collectors. This next design by Jan Beitlik is inspired by Polish folklore, celebrating Pan i Pani, or the bride and groom. His first scarf with the house, Animopolis, took over 40 color silk screens to print and was ultimately made available in 10 colorways. His scarves are routinely collected and even now can command well over two times retail in the secondary market. Now, I get that some may find his designs too busy. 
and that's perfectly fine. Truly, there is something for every taste. However, it is the intricacy of this design that is sure to yield a variety of patterns, colors, and looks, again, depending on how you fold and knot this scarf. This is another design I would call symmetrically asymmetrical. So given that, the variety of colorways, and the artist's appeal overall, I think this too will be a collector's item. While this artist, too, is still relatively new to the house, Jonathan Burton never fails to bring us something charming. His first scarf with the house, Tea Time, a 70-centimeter silk twill, was widely collected when it debuted in 2021. Being British, he obviously has a thing about tea as well, which he has playfully manifested in this 90-centimeter silk twill design from this season. The artist's sense of humor and whimsy come alive in his designs, and no less so in this fantastical contraption to produce the magical tea that the superheroine needs for her helmet to grow wings. Every inch of the scarf offers the possibility of something different, whether a pattern, texture, or color. That, plus the colorways, contrast hems, and of course the artist, this looks like a future grail to me. Here's a design that I talked about last week. And unlike some of the others on my list here, this one is by a newcomer to the house with no history whatsoever of past designs becoming collectible. Based on the Camille Sanson original score of the same name composed in 1886, Thibault brings to life the 14 movements of this zoological fantasy. Now granted, again, this artist has no track record to speak of with the house. I just have a feeling about it based on its captivating design and interesting colorways offered so far. With its intricate details, it will no doubt offer many possibilities and variations when knotted. That's why I think this one too will be a collector's item. This next one, which translates as Back to Nature, is another collaboration from imaginative artist duo Théo de Guzel and Octave Marsal. 
They brought us the likes of Faubourg Tropical and A L'Ombre des Pivoins, which, if the current secondary market prices are any indication, are still highly sought after. This is another incredibly intricate asymmetrical design. And yes, while it is more expensive on the face of it to collect the 140 centimeter cashmere shawls, they are actually one of the better values for the month, if there is such a thing, based on a cost per square inch, even with recent price increases. So based on the design itself, the available colorways with contrast hems, and the charm of this artist duo, I think this one will be a future grail as well. So there you have it. My thoughts on future grails from the spring-summer 2023 scarf collection by Hermes. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and let me know what you think in the comments. In future episodes, I'll share other scarf reviews, not tutorials, and more, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time!